Oh man, the battery's dead. And as you can see, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I've got the dog here, but unfortunately there's no other cars around that could jump me. And there's no cell service out here. Yeah, I don't know if he's doing some bit with the YouTube, but we'll probably head out. Okay, so we're now at the back of the Suburban and using some bits and pieces from my toolkit back here, I've managed to scrape together this. This is a very simple 12 volt cigarette lighter to adapter. Uh, I have this on here so I can switch it. I have these on here to make it easy to clamp. Uh, I actually had all this laying around. I do not think those clamps would be necessary in an emergency. You could probably just tape the leads. But I also have this Jackery. It's currently 15 degrees and the Jackery is at 60%. I am not sponsored by Jackery. I bought this with my own money. I bought it on sale. I think it's adequate. I think I would have be happy with the bigger one, but that's a different conversation. Because what I wanted to answer today is, can I use this as a jump box in an emergency? This product is not designed for this. I'm not going to be upset if it can or if it cannot. I'm just curious. So I made this and I'm going to do a couple of tests real quick. So cigarette lighter down to an adapter over to the clamps to the test leads and we're showing a very healthy 13.47 volts which should help so let's go check out the battery and see if we can get this thing running on our own without using any other resources other than what was in it I just checked the voltage the voltage was at 0 0.1 volt I've since added this it is charging oh no I'm just going by the sparks created Oh, and that. So it is charging it. Uh, it's currently outputting 100 watts. Man, this thing does some weird stuff when the battery's dead. Anyways, it is now 11 o'clock on the dot. Conveniently. It is 11 o'clock on the dot right now. It is 17 degrees out. I'm going to let this charge for 20 minutes and see what happens. Uh, it is now 12.15. We are down to 48% and it's only putting out 20 watts. Which I wish it would be putting out way more than that. Uh, let's see what the voltage on the battery looks like. Switch that plug over. And we are at 12.4. Oop, it's kind of jumping around there. You know what? I'm going to try it. Nope, not quite. But this stuff's at least responding now and beeping at me and whatnot. But... That indicator there is a good sign if I can get a straight shot of it yeah so it's gonna do weird things so let's see if we can get it jumped at the tone the time will be 1245 all right YouTube I'm still stuck in the woods this thing's still putting out 30 watts which is roughly 3 amps on a 12 volt charge uh, I'm not going to check the voltage, I'm just going to see if it'll start and leave the Jackery on, and hopefully that'll give it a little boost. Oh, she almost had it. Oh! Alright. Let's wait a little longer. Alright, it is now 2.02. Which means this has been on for approximately three hours. Uh, we're still stuck in the woods there. You can see the neighbor's plowing in his driveway with his tractor. Uh, 
and let's give her a shot. I'll measure the voltage real quick. So we are showing 12.4 volts. I'm going to put it back on the Jackery just to give it that one little extra bit of boost. And we can see the Jackery has lost a lot of charge at this point. So, let's give it a shot. I don't like that that's showing 9 volts. Nope. I hopped forward, disconnected the jackery. The engine is running, but I don't have any gauges. I'm also giving it a little bit of gas. Let's see what happens if I take my foot off the gas. Okay, I might have blown a fuse getting it running, but I can now drive home safely. Alternator is working, charging the battery. I'm not going to lie, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> so we've still got a couple of new error messages. But uh, this ended up just being a fuse, probably from just the low voltage and everything trying to pull. Uh, let's turn it off. And there we go. Let's drive home. Oh. So what did we learn? I think we learned that in a pretty bad scenario for the Jackery, the small Jackery that is only at half charge in sub-freezing temperatures, you can in fact jump a full-size truck if you have three hours. I still think that makes a uh, jump pack a good option for many, and I still think if you are alone in the woods and you've got a cigarette lighter, uh, a male cigarette lighter port and a bunch of wire and you've got a jackery, it's worth trying. I wouldn't recommend it, but it can work, and I just showed it it can work actually. So, hope this video helps somebody. Don't get lost in the woods. Stay safe. Stay warm. Thanks for watching.